Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. This is another installment in an ongoing series that I have been doing in which I attempt to cast a little light on some lesser known comic book publishers and characters from the past. In some cases, these publishers have produced fantastic work in conjunction with amazing artists like Jack Kirby and Stephen Ditko that has never been seen by many comic book fans. In some cases, these publishers have been incubators for some pretty amazing characters like Static and Icon that have essentially gone on to have a lifespan that extends beyond that of the publisher themselves. So far in this series, we've spoken about Pacific Comics and to some extent Milestone Comics as well. And I would argue that this next publisher is a little more unknown than either of the last two companies that have been spotlighted. Now, with that said, you may have some awareness of at least two characters that have their origins with this publisher. I am specifically talking about Matt Wagner's Grindel and Sam Keith's character, The Max. Honestly, there is a lot of debate about the origins of Max, so let's just say at least Sam Keith has some ties to this publisher. The publisher that we're talking about is Comico Comics, and Comico was founded in 1982 and was headquartered in Norristown, PA. They're probably best known for three comics, Robotech, Johnny Quest, and The Grendel. Some of the original titles released by Comico included Elementals, Grendel, Mage, The Hero Discovered, and Silverback, just to name a few. It was in issue number two of the primer that we got our first look at the character known as The Grendel. And while I am still looking for that book in my collection, I did manage to find a few other awesome books that I'll show you right now. And I definitely encourage you to stay tuned because I'll show you some additional books later on in this video. The first book that I want to show you is issue number five of the primer. And this is the first appearance of Max from Sam Keith. And this is Max the Hair, not the Max that went on to appear in Image Comics a little bit later. In addition to that, here is Johnny Quest issue number five, a really cool cover. Fathom issue number one is next up. And then we have a completely different look in Space Ghost issue number one. And then the very last book that I'll show you right now is a fun one. It is Gumby's Winter Fun Special, issue number one. Additional titles from Comico included books like Next Men, which debuted in 1984, and Justice Machine in 1986. They also produced E-Man and Fish Police, just to name a few. Additionally, Comico continued to secure licensing agreements to produce books like Star Blazers, Johnny Quest, and Max Hedrum. So now I want to take an opportunity to show you a couple of cool books that I've been able to find in my 100k collection. And I am constantly going through bins and I remain hopeful that I'm going to find some additional books and maybe we will do another video down the road. The very first book that I'll show you is Primer Issue Number 1. And this book is cool because it includes an ad that features Grendel, who again appeared in Issue Number 2. Cool book right here. Uh, while I was unable to find the first Grendel series, I did manage to find a couple of books from the second Grendel series, which I think came out in 1987. Here is issue number one of that series. Here is issue number two. Number five. Number six. And then lastly, issue number nine. All really cool books. Next up, I'll show you uh, the first issue of The Rocketeer. 
And this book is really cool. It's a gorgeous red and blue cover. And technically I should probably be showing you a book from Pacific Comics because that is actually where the Rocketeer had his first appearance. But this is the issue number one that actually came out from Comico. Uh, earlier, I showed you Fathom issue number one. Here is issue number two. And now on to a couple of the early books that were released from Comico. First up is Elementals. And this is a really cool book. I've been reading a little bit of this series, uh, but this is issue uh, number one of that Elementals title. And then lastly, here is The Fish Police. Like a lot of publishers, Comico had a really rough go in the 90s. In fact, they filed for bankruptcy in 1990 and were never really the same after that. They continued to sporadically publish books until 1997, but I don't think that we've actually heard from them in a few decades. With that said, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, I want to encourage you to hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment behind so we can mix it up in the comment section. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at ReggieCollects.